IT tip of the day. Some of you in my last video showed some more hotkeys. So let's take a look at a few of those. So the first hotkey we're going to look at is Windows key and R. That's going to bring up our run menu. Very useful. You can run commands in here uh, to get to certain folders. Uh, for instance, I have the percentage app data percentage. If I hit enter on that, it'll take you to the roaming app data folder where you can troubleshoot apps, if you need to delete things. When a troubleshooting guide says to come to this folder and delete things, it's pretty common. So it's a pretty quick way to get to that folder. Our next hotkey is going to be Windows key, shift, and the arrows. So if you have a app open and you don't want to drag it around to your other monitor, for instance, you can hit Windows, shift, and an arrow key, and it'll take it to the other monitor orientated. So right from my right monitor, left from my left monitor, and so forth. So you can easily snap programs back and forth between your monitors. Now this hotkey is pretty interesting. Windows key and V. What this does is it's going to bring up your clipboard. So every time you do control C on something, it'll save it in the past. You see, I did it here with a couple of test things. So for instance, if I come in here and copy this, if I highlight this and copy this and I hit Windows V again, those two are going to be there and you can paste from that clipboard. Now, as silly as this next one is, Alt F4 has its uses. So for those that don't know, Alt F4 closes the program that you have open. It completely crashes it and kills it. People used to prank each other in video games saying Alt F4 was the key bind for something and they would force their friends to crash their game and leave it. It's really funny, you should try it. But Alt F4 closes anything that may not be responding sometimes or it just crashes everything if you wanna get rid of it quickly. <sighs> this last one here. I don't think anyone has used this legitimately, but for some reason Microsoft put it in here. Shift, Control, Windows, Alt, and L. You know what that does is it opens LinkedIn on your default browser. Why Microsoft thought this was useful, I have no idea, but it's their company and it's their brand now, so they can do whatever they want with their Windows hotkeys. So there you go. Five more hotkeys that you might not have known and follow for more.